Hello everybody, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at SIM 800L module and show you how to program with UFLOW and receive SMS message. The working frequency of SIM 800L is at 850, 900, 1800, and 1900 megahertz. We can have the M5 core device to send AT command to the SIM 800L module via UART. To realize the JSM GPRS functions such as audio, SMS, data transformation, it can be used at test detection on poisonous gas, remote meter rating system, smart home monitor, and so on. On the front side, we can see the MBUS pin, a micro SIM card slot, and a hole for spring antenna. On the back side, we can find the MBUS socket, SIM 800L, and an LED on top for indication. After power on, the LED will be on fast blink mode, searching for the network signal, and turn into slow blink mode when the network is found, and then turn back to fast blink mode when it's connected. Beside is the spring antenna, a microphone, and a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Let's go to UFLOW and get it started. Before we use it, we need to initialize it. How to initialize the module? Basically just send AT command to tell the module to get ready to work. The initialize process for SIM800L is involved a couple of blocks. We can seal them into a function block we use a function block that doesn't have a return value and name it init sim 800 l After power on, this module will take around 10 seconds to get ready to receive AT command. Next, we're going to use set UART block to initialize the serial part. TX part set to 17, RX part set to 16, bound rate 115200. We use a loop. Inside the loop, we use read UART available to see if UART have received a data, and then use read UART to read the data and clear the buffer. Next, we use write block to send AT command. When we send AT command to SIM 800L, it will return some information back, by which we can figure out if the module is working properly. If we don't need it, you can turn it off by sending AT command ATE0 backslash R. Backslash R is ESC, short for escape character, represent an enter. After send over the command, delay for one second. AT plus CSCS is used to set up the TE terminal equipment using Charset. Default is IRA, which is short for International Reference Alphabet. When we're going to send pure English message, set it as GSM default chart set by sending AT plus CSCS equals quotation GSM quotation backslash R backslash N. If we need to send Chinese and English, the AT command would be AT plus CSCS equals quotation UCS2 quotation backslash R backslash N to set the chart set to be ISO slash IEC 10646 32 bit. In this case, we just send English. AT plus CMGF is used for set message mode. SIM 800L support two modes, PDU and test. Send AT plus CMGF equals 1 backslash R backslash N. Set it to be test mode. To clear message container, send AT plus CMGD equals 1 comma 4 backslash R backslash N. AT plus CNMI is used for set notification. Send AT plus CNMI equals 2 comma 1 backslash R. This command will cause whenever the device receives a new message and the same space is not full, SIM 800L will return a data to UART port. At last, 
clear the UART buffer. Now the module is get ready to work. Next, what we need to do is repeatedly reading the data we saved from the UART. If the message data type is string, display the phone number and the message on the screen. Package the process above into a function. Name it live sim 800 l Firstly, use a if statement to decide is there any data inside the UART pod. The data sent by sim 800 l is look like this. Because we cannot read it all at once, we just read a single line. If it is a test message, read it out and save it into variable buff. In this case, we use variable is message as a flag of checking whether the data we just read is a test message or not. Set it to be zero after setup. If it is a test message, set to be one. If not, zero. How do we figure out if the data we received is a test message or not? Answer is, if say MT appears inside buffer, it means we received a test message and set is message to be one. We'll use this flag later. Set two more variables, incoming SMS phone and incoming SMS message to save the phone number and the test content of the message. The string data we read from UART saved in buff. Now we need to extract the phone number. First, we need to split the string by quotation operator and save the split pieces into buff list. The second piece is the phone number and assign its value to incoming SMS phone. We don't have a block for split function yet, so we use execute block to insert a Python script inside the code. Next, the test content. Extract it from the next line of data, set is message to zero. The string data is like this. So in order to take out the first two and last five characters, we're going to insert Python code again. Buff equals buff left bracket two colon minus five right bracket is to cut off the first two and last four characters and assign the remaining to incoming SMS message. Now we've got the phone number and test from the UR data. Next, we're going to display them on the screen as well as set up the alarm and LED blink for notification. You can package them in a function if you want and all these parameters you can custom it as you like or use MFI speaker to make your own ringtone. At last, after setup, Initialize sim 800 l before set the LED to red. Turn it off after the initialization finished and read message in a loop. Hit run. Let's see.